um, anointing your mind is very important. Uh, the demons that would uh, talk to your mind. Live in a spiritual realm, spiritual world. And evil spirits are always looking for entry into your mentality. We live in a world that's mostly dominated by a population of people that are either do not know God or are not interested in God. It's so very easily to become demon possessed in your mind if you embrace prayerlessness, you embrace unthankfulness, if you embrace, if you embrace your feelings, your offenses, it's so easily to be possessed by demons in your mind. Let me just say this. Uh, demon spirits, they know the pattern in which God has destined for your life. They know the pattern. They know where the Lord wants you to be. They know where the Lord wants you to go because they study. Demons don't know everything offhand. They are flesh demons. So they watch and see if God pitch you to work at UPS, they watch and see, okay, this is a believer. Okay, God is pleased with them because we see the light around them and he has them working at UPS. So what he does is he sends demons to the UPS. And while you're at UPS, the demons start saying, look at your boss. He don't love you. He talking about you behind your back. Look at your coworkers. They jealous of you. They trying, they trying, they, they, they're doing this to you. And all the while, while you're focusing on these demonic things, you're weakening your desire to serve the Lord at UPS. And you don't know that you underneath a network of demons that are sabotaging your own destiny through you. So now all of your prayers are, I just want to get out of this workplace. When the Lord going to get me out of here? I'm praying for deliverance from this workplace. And you don't know that you have been targeted and recruited by demon spirits in your mind. Jesus. Now UPS has become adversarial to you. Because of the demons in your mind. Saints Legion wanted to be free, but he had demons in his mind. Saints, you got to understand, why did the Bible say that when Jesus came on the scene? Why did it say that he worshipped Jesus? Because he was relieved. He was like, finally, I can get out of this mental prison. Finally, I don't have to have these demons dragging me. And so he bowed down quickly because he was excited. Because his spirit man knew, I'm not supposed to be demon possessed like this. See, saints, let me just tell you this. When God created you, he made you a spirit. So your spirit knows when your soul is in a place that's really not supposed to be. Like saints, people live all type of lifestyles. But at the end of the day, they be, they be suicidal. Have you ever met like people... Like they say, oh, it's just a happy college student. But you find out that they're suicidal. And they say, oh, they're suicidal because people was bullying them. Let me give you a secret. Uh, let me say this, and some of y'all know my story. I've been bullied. You say, prophet, when was you bullied? I've been bullied in ministry. But why hasn't anybody been able to break me? Because... I have peace. 
Saints, whenever people uh, take your name, fight you, and you don't even know them, you never met them a day in your life. That's bullying. That's bullying. So I have been bullied before, so I know what it means to be bullied. You know, I, I wasn't bullied in my youth, but I was bullied when God called me. When God chose me, when God anointed me, I was bullied. So I know what it means to be bullied. But what I want you to see is that Why do people commit suicide? They say, oh, because they was bullied. No, it's not because they was bullied. It's because they have demons in their mind. Are you catching this? It's very powerful. Why do people, they say little children hung themselves. No, no, no. It wasn't because they got bullied. If they was really full of the spirit of God, the bullying would not have made them commit suicide. See, I'm giving you a different perspective. They committed suicide because of the demons in their mind. If it was they committed suicide because they was being bullied, then everybody that get bullied, when Prophet Joshua get bullied, I would commit suicide. But I don't have demons in my mind. Are you seeing this? I'm, I come to open up your eyes. This is very powerful. So saints, here's what happens. People have demons in their mind. So they kill themselves. It's not because somebody did something to them. It's not because they was bullied or somebody called them names. Because I've been called names. But I didn't commit suicide because I don't have demons in my mind. How do you know if a demon is talking to you? A demon will always contradict the prophet. If I come to you and I tell you something in the word, if you got demons in your mind, I'll give you a fresh revelation. The demons in your mind going to say, no, that's not true. You remember uh, you went to theologian school. Remember, we already learned what the walking of the water scenario was about. So it wasn't him walking on the word. It was him walking on liquid. Don't believe that lie. Demons will always contradict a prophet. The woman, Azaphat, she tells Elijah, this is our last meal and we're going to die. That was the demons in her mind. Because that wasn't her last meal. It was the beginning of fresh meals. And saints, let me shock you and tell you something that you never heard before. When Elijah gave her an instruction, he was giving her a meal. So it was actually the beginning of meals. Because a prophetic instruction from a prophet is food to eat. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the what? The mouth of God. Who's the mouth of God? Lips. Yeah. <laughs> but who else is the mouth of God? The prophet. Joshua Holmes. Because there's a lot of prophets nowadays. That's the prophet Muhammad wrote me. He said, what is this? You prophet... We know Prophet Muhammad. We know Prophet Muhammad. But who is you? Anyways, I like your wisdom. <laughs> I was like, wait, is he, is he attacking me or he on my side? Which one you is, player? I'm about to give you some uh, Hindu juice. He asked me who was me. But anyways, I like your wisdom. Saints, you know how many people that I went to the Lord off of wisdom? They don't even be believing in, in Jesus, but they have to after the wisdom. Jesus said, I'll give you a mouth and wisdom that even your enemies can't resist. Demons in your mind make you inconsistent. How do you know if you're hearing from a demon? Inconsistency. Okay, watch this. 
If you know that the Lord showed you to do something, why do you lose the enthusiasm in doing it? Over time. What's your excuse? Oh, well, I do it. I lost enthusiasm because, you know, I don't like people talking about me. I don't like how it feel. They hurt my feelings. And when I try to be all right with myself, I, I just think about what they saying about me and it just hurt. It feel bad. It just make me feel awkward. I don't know what to do. But I want to stay true. I don't know what to listen to. Ooh, ooh. You done turn into a little pump spirit. Ooh, ooh. You done turn into a smoke perp spirit. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Now, demons in your mind create inconsistency. So you go on a path with God and then you stop. Why you stop? Because number one, you know God was telling you that. Because that's why you did it in the beginning. So why did you stop? Don't blame people because you get lukewarm. Take responsibility for your decisions. Inconsistency is the fruit of demons in your mind. Because saints, here's what happens. The reason why you became inconsistent was because the demon outweighed the Holy Spirit as truth to you. The demons had more weight than the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost showed you to do it, but the demons showed you something else and it weaned you off of the momentum to do it. It took away your passion to do it. It took away your commitment to do it. Inconsistency. Demons in the mind. When demons are in your mind, you blame others for your own decisions. When Adam blamed the woman and the woman blamed Adam, it was a sign of demons in their mind. God said, I got to get them out of here because now there's demons in their mind. So if I tell them anything, there's demons in their mind. If I tell Adam to keep in tender garden now, he's not going to do it because there's demons in his mind. And if he does do it, he's going to become inconsistent because there's demons in his mind. Saints, here's what I want you to catch. That you have to identify the demons in your mind. Because God is very forefront. He, going to, he, he not going to let you be in the dark about what he wants and just have you wandering. He, he, gonna, he, he, he has a period of time where he's going to lay out order to your life. Saints, do you know many a times, not many a times, but sometimes I go to Jesus and I say, Jesus, look at my life right now. I say, uh, what you what what do you want to change? What do you want to change? What what do you see that you want to change? Not not nobody else. What what do you 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 Lord? Not nobody else. What do you don't like? If there's anything with me, I'll do it. What, what you what you need from me? 
Do you need something changed about me? Do you need something changed? You know what that does? It keeps demons from your mind. If the Lord is leading you, you have annihilated the demons in your mind. You don't have to worry about that. But if he does not have that place in your life where his satisfaction is your desire, his pleasure is is your longing. You're in a predicament where demons can rule your mind. Daughter, what the hell you just asked the question? Hold on. Dawn, what the hell you just said? You know I love you, Dawn. What, what the hell is that? Explain yourself. Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Don, explain your daggone self. What profit do you need me to change, Lord? What What the double flex is that? <laughs> Don, it sounds like you've been cheating. Oh, Lord, I forgot. I forgot I'm live. Don said, what profit do you need me to change? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Glory to God. Screw. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, she asking me what? What she asking me? What she asking me? What you asking me, Don? What you need, Don? Let me borrow five dollars. Oh, 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 all right. That's beautiful, Don. Yeah, it's beautiful. I feel you. Don, you mess around, keep sewing you, and you're going to buy yourself a, a, a purple Brazilian wig just. In the super free, in the super free. <laughs> don't, don't mess around. Get, get her purple wig. In the super free, super free, in the super free. <laughs> Rick J. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How many y'all, when y'all see me, I bring you joy? How many y'all be laughing? <laughs> now, now I said you got proof of love to me that don't hurt me now don't hurt me all right don't hurt me <laughs> I'm joking around I'm joking around I'm playing around <laughs> it's just super it's just me it's just me <laughs> I 
I just want to see everybody blessed. That's why I give you so much wisdom. Because I want to see you blessed. That's why I'm always giving you wisdom. <laughs> Not the lyrics. She's a very... <laughs> <laughs> Rick James Rick James That's a Charlie Murphy I was shocked when Charlie Murphy died I thought it was falsified information I thought it was falsified information Demons in your mind make you inconsistent. Demons in your mind make you insecure. Demons in your mind make you double-minded. Meaning like you'll second guess what God originally said. Use the blood of Jesus to destroy demons in your mind. Apply the blood. Say, I apply the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus prevails in my mind. I apply the blood of Jesus in my mind. I, the blood of Jesus prevails in my mind. Saints, do it more. Say, Jesus, take over this mind of mine. Possess me. Possess my soul, Jesus. I want to only think love thoughts. I want to only think wisdom thoughts. I want to only think the thoughts that are pure, lovely, just, virtuous, and of a good report. Don't let those demons in your mind defeat your purpose. Don't let them win you. Don't let them win you. You have authority in Jesus. Don't let your mind kill you. Don't let your mind stress you out and give you assignments that you're not even anointed to complete. The assignment of stress has no all. Think about that. Ain't that powerful? The assignment of worry has no power, no strength, no inspiration. There's no hope in the assignment of discouragement for your mind. Don't let the devil win in your mind. 